Well, you write about this guilt you felt um, knowing that, that you were having this baby that you didn't want. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, it's like, you know, getting a gift and you don't really know what to do with it. You don't mm -hmm. know how to use it. You know, it's something like that. And, but I mean, it's, it's your responsibility. This gift needs to be nurtured. This gift needs to be loved and, mm -hmm. and cared for. So it's, it's, it was very difficult, you know. My, it's like my therapist would say, uh, uh, say to me once, it's like an arranged marriage. First you get married and then you learn to love the baby. You know, wow. sorry, the husband in my mm. case, the baby. So, I mean, I think up till the day he was born, it was, uh, it, it was very stressful for me. And, um, and after he was born and they put him on my chest, his eyes were wide open and he looked at me and he, you know, he had this, I know you didn't want me look. And wow. that was very traumatic for me. I just started shaking and they had to calm me down. I couldn't hold him. I couldn't feed him. I probably feed him more than an hour later. But then it was easier because his eyes by then were shut mm -hmm. and he was sucking on his fingers. So I think I just did the natural thing. Yeah. Being the mother that he needed. Now your son knows he was conceived through rape. How, how has he dealt with this? Well, he didn't know. I, um, I had no intention of telling him. Mm -hmm. I thought I was doing a brilliant job. Mm -hmm. But I was overcompensating and it caused, it, a bit, it caused a bit of a problem in my household because, you know, for him he felt, you know, no matter what I say, I'm, I'm always wrong and my daughter would say, you, you know, he's your favourite. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, that, uh, that was a challenge on its own. So, um, you know, I just couldn't do this anymore. It made me bitter, the weight, it was, it was just too much for me. And I felt that, you know, he needs to know because you know, there were, were times that we, you know, I wouldn't speak to him for days because he would just be in his own corner. Mm -hmm. And, but the challenging part was for me, the older he got, the more he looked like his father. So it was like a painting, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, I had to look at him every day. So I waited till he was 18 years old and I sat my son and my daughter down and I told him mm -hmm. why I am the way I am and what mm -hmm. has happened. What was their reaction like? Oh, my, my daughter, if, I think we probably used old box of tissues. Oh. My son was very calm. Um, I was actually surprised he handled it very well. Mm -hmm. And I, I think uh, like at an hour or so later, I got up and I said, um, look, I'm sorry, I just had to share this. It's, it's sad. I'm pulling you into my sad world. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I, when I walked past him, he got up and he, and he grabbed me, hugged me, and he said to me, mom, it's okay, I understand, I forgive you. And that for me was, I didn't expect it. Yeah. And how has he coped since then? Well, we went through a lot of bad patches, I think. Um, he, he also obviously had to digest it for a while, mm -hmm. which he did. And, and I mean, being 18, it's still a difficult age for him. So that was in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had a little up, we had our ups and our downs. And we spoke about it, and I know it was difficult for him, and he didn't want to put further pressure on me. But I could see his body language, you know, in his behaviour, that it, he was in pain. Yeah. And eventually, they, like ten months later, I decided, look, I, I'm not dealing with this properly. I need to go for therapy, and you know, um, I've got a very supportive manager, mm -hmm. and so I started therapy in November 2012, and it's been quite a journey. Um, that's where I actually learned a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. I've blocked out a lot of things because it was just too horrific. And at the time I couldn't collapse. I had to, I had to take care of my kids, I had to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So I actually blocked out quite a bit. Um, it's what they call an amnesic block. Um, but I went into therapy so that I can have a better relationship with my son and understand myself better so that I can stop being a better person. Mm -hmm. so it was quite a challenge for people around me because I would be sad and, and happy. Yeah. You know, sort of rule with an iron fist kind of thing, you know, had to get it my way because my way was the best way. Mm -hmm. So it was, was quite challenging.